Hi guys, I'm Nate Brandt again. Today we're cooking some pea soup. Now, out of all of it, I must tell you, I am not one of those ladies who are really very much in love with my pressure cooker. I just saw my boil it on the stove. But because we want to, what's the word, not, because we're pressed for time, I'm going to just put the pea soup in here. Actually, I'm just cooking the peas in here. So let's start. I have used, this is one kilogram of split peas that I have just washed under the cold water tap until it runs. Okay, so one solid unit. You see we've got a dome of peas. And at the bottom I have got that thing that actually keeps it from, from burning at the bottom because pea soup sometimes do sit there so in total that was four and a half cups of dried that's not two three four five six Seven. So that's seven and a half cups of boiling water and we've got four and a half cups of dried peas. So I want to just tell you don't put any salt with it. If you put salt with it, it will not cook soft. So either if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can just boil it on the stove in a normal pot till it's nicely soft. Otherwise, I'm going to put this in the um, pressure cooker for 15 minutes and just get it nice and soft. So for the flavoring of the pea soup we're going to use one large onion that I've just chopped up in little blocks that goes in the pan. I've got a half a cup of celery that's just finely chopped. We've got about two tablespoons of olive oil. So we've got two and a half teaspoons of herbal salt. I've got one tablespoon of garlic powder. It's nice and lumpy, but it will cook through. It's fine. And one tablespoon of onion powder. Oops, the wind is not working with us today and about one flat teaspoon of marjoram and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. And then to this, I'm just gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six little leaves of mint. And this I'm going to fry on the stove till uh, they're nicely brown. And then we are going to blend it all together with the peas when they're done. Okay guys, our peas is done. You will see that the water was just enough. You can actually then, if you want to add more water, if you want to put it in the steamer like that, but this is perfectly soft, wonderfully done. It was about 12 minutes, not a full 15 minutes. So I've got my onions and the flavorings from the pan. I'm just adding it in. Ooh, I love that smells. Okay, personally, I love it a bit more runny and not more like a stew or a chowder. So I'm just adding one cup of boiling water to this and then I'm going to give it a light stir. Okay, if you have one of these thick blends, you can use it. Otherwise, you can just put it in a normal blender. But I just want to incorporate it a bit more. And 
container, nothing but container is too small. I would really want to add more boiling water here. Yeah? Okay, so I, I transferred it into my big glass dish. I'm going to add another two cups. So in total, then this will be three cups of boiling water that I've added. So if you're boiling it in a normal pot, you will have to add more water because lots of the water evaporate. So now I'm just going to blend it nicely. soup I like it thick like this if you don't like it this thick you can actually add more water it's fine what I'm actually going to just add I don't know if you know this it's called coconut cream powder so if you I'm just going to add half of it I think that will make it rich enough and then I'm just going to put a half a cup of water if you don't have the coconut cream powder you can just put normal coconut cream in there it's fine but you see it just it just gives that extra oomph to your soup gives it a depth in taste and yo, makes you long for home if you're not at home okay so I'm just gonna blend this again because it's all nice incorporated and then we can serve and eat. So this you just now put into your serving dish or however much you want. When you put them into the bowls, if the people dish themselves into the bowls, you can actually take that coconut cream powder and just mix it with a little bit of water and just put them on top for a nice extra creaminess but this in itself is superbly nice so guys i hope you really enjoy your pea soup it's winter in south africa and i hope you have a nice day keep well bye